Hi, I'm Rick Baker, and this is Trailers from Hell, and I'm going to talk to you today about a film called Man of a Thousand Faces. It's the story of Lon Chaney Sr. Uh, I think some of this is actually true, uh, but it's, you know, the Hollywood version of, of uh, his life. It was made at Universal, and, and uh, let's look at this trailer now. Okay, as I said, it's a story of Lon Chaney, which they're really bringing the point home here uh, with some pictures of Lon Chaney and some pictures of James Cagney uh, made up as Lon Chaney. Now, you know, Lon Chaney did some amazing makeups with some really crude materials. He had nose putty and silk organza and spirit gum, and he was able to make these faces that to this day are some of the, some of the greatest makeups ever. Here in this film, Bud Westmore and Jackie Van, who did the makeup, had new modern materials and techniques and managed to do some really pretty horrible makeups. <laughs> They're nowhere near as good as what Chaney did with the crude techniques. Um, with maybe the exception of the, of the Hunchback. I think the Hunchback makeup in this movie is pretty cool. Uh, I was never a big Lon Chaney Sr. Hunchback fan. But this here is uh, Chaney Jr. Uh, his name is Creighton at, at this point in the, in the story. And this, I think, is one of the fictional parts of the, of the movie. But it's a, it's a really nice scene at the end when Lon Chaney is dying uh, and Creighton is there at his bedside. Uh, Chaney motions for them to bring over his makeup kit and he pulls out a, a grease paint stick and on the makeup kit he writes a junior and gives it to, to Creighton who then becomes Lon Chaney Jr. So this is a fun film, really good film. James Cagney is good in the movie but he has a really bad face to make up for the man of a thousand faces. Mm -hmm.